anyone tell you that Conkers is a wimpy sport, that really has hurt me more than any other sport has ever hurt me. And it was all done by myself. Today we're heading to England, one part of the UK together with Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Known for its eccentric characters, England's home to one man's collection of 322 vacuum cleaners, thought to be the most in the world. But our first stop is in Northampton, where we'll be checking out more of the local wacky culture. Northamptonshire is home to stunning countryside, waterways, and a history that's rather magical. Yeah, it's home to one of the oldest magic clubs in England, at nearly 100 years old. And at just 19, Jamie Doherty is one of its youngest members. Looks like he knows a few tricks. Yeah, but he's going to show us something a little bit special. I'm going to try and turn this water here into gravy. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, no way! Oh, yeah. Checks out. That was awesome, except we're running a little bit late for our next preliminary mm. event. I don't suppose you could sort of magic us there. Um, traffic is a nightmare, so yeah. keep that in mind. Uh, well, I could turn this door into a, a magic door. Really? Just walk straight through this door? Walk through. You know, if you hadn't shown me that stuff before, I wouldn't believe you, but I kind of believe you. Where are we going? What do we do? Straight through. Are you sure? Are you coming with us? Are we going alone? Is this safe? Okay. I will miss you. I'll remember you forever. <laughs> Welcome. Whoa! Well, that was quicker than the bus, but we seem to have landed somewhere a bit nutty. Not nuts, punkers. In England, they drop off trees in autumn and they are put on a string for contests. Buy it back. Brad and his friends are showing us how it's done. Have you got to break the other person's nut? Yes. Okay. And then do you eat it? No. In conkers, players take turns to have three goes at hitting their opponent's conker. The first conker to break loses. Oh. That's it. Fantastic shot. Sinjin Burkett is a conker contest organiser. Where did conkers originate? Oh, we go back into the mists of time in British history. How did it all start? Well, I think the conker tree, the horse chestnut tree, came to this country in the 1700s. Conkers isn't just about friendly fights. Here in Northampton, it's a serious world championship competition. And you know how much we love a competition. It's a chance for some one-on-one -on -one combat in preparation for some wrestling later. We'll pick teams and through a series of heats, select our best conquer from each. Once you lose, you're out. Our star players will meet in the final to see which team can take home the title of World Conqueror. No matter what happens, I still love both of you but I will love the winner more. I can go. Well, that's the favourite. Brad's through from my team. There's a heroic battle unfolding between Lillianne and Amberley to see who'll take him on. Lillianne's scoring heavily, as Amberley seems more intent on beating herself into submission. Oh! If you miss this, you're out. Oh! and tell you that Conkers is a wimpy sport. That really has hurt me more than any other sport has ever hurt me. And it was all done by myself. OK. Are we ready for this final? Yes. Representing Gilly's team, Bradley. Representing Amberley's team, Lillian. Conkers at the ready. This is it. Ooh, and it's a nervous start for Team Gilly as Lily Ann scores hit after hit. And finally, yes. Brad gets a shot in. Thanks to some awesome coaching. Go a gentler one this time. That's it. Find your range. And at the end of three rounds, the teams are proving tough nuts to crack. So it's sudden death. Nine shots in three lots of three. It's the person who hits the other conquer the most time. So from now on, it's most hits in nine turns. And with Lillian's excellent aim, I reckon we've got this. Oh, 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 in the hand. Or maybe not. Eyes never off the conquer. Brad's one in front as we go into the final stages. Seven five. Oh, that's a miss. The pressure's too much for Lillianne as Brad goes one ahead. I can hardly oh, watch. Okay. Three hits will win this for you. Oh. Brad just needs two more hits. It's match point. It's victory!
Entry for Team Gilly, in a nutshell. How'd you get through that last round? Because you're coming from behind and you managed to pull through. I just copied what she did. That's good, you learned from the best. You took it on board and you ended up beating the best. You're a winner in my eyes. Congratulations. You know, hold up the conquer. Well done. Look at it, not a crack on it. Great job. <laughs> We've arrived in Lancashire, where we're about to be introduced to some local foods with a twist. With gravy? Sadly not. Yeah, I, I understand what's going on here. You've led us to another would you rather, haven't you? That's what's going on. Hiya. I want to get involved in a little bit of Lancashire culture. What are our would you rather options? Well, would you rather drink a whole bottle of Lancashire relish mm. or have a pile of fries? Try it. What is it? Like cauliflower cheese? No, it's cow stomach. <laughs> oh, yuck. Are you serious? That's cow stomach. Oh. So it's just like onions and the insides of cows. Yeah. So none of you guys have ever eaten this it looks stuff Looks like before. honeycomb. Yeah. Tribe is a dish made from a stomach lining of animals mixed with onion and is actually enjoyed all over the world as well as in Lancashire. Lancashire relish is a vinegar-based sauce so tangy it's usually added to food in small doses. Doesn't smell good. Doesn't smell, right. smell great. Ooh, it's like curry. Like maybe you'd have this much, but to have all of it, that is, I think they're both so equally bad options. All right, ready? Call it in the air. All right. Tails. Tails. Oh! Ah! It's you, Gilly. So, which would you rather go with your gut or relish the relish? Oh, this smells awful. No! I do like onion. No, so, no, don't do it. Every cloud has its rainbow, so I'm going to have this. Can I get some support here? Can we have some sort of chant? Gilly, sort of really? Gilly, 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 I was taught to always finish my food, so here goes. Oh, lovely carbonara. Carbonara, carbonara, just carbonara. Cows, guts, cows, guts, cows. Brave effort, Gilly, but I can't watch. Now remember to clean your plate. I don't think gravy wrestling can be any worse than this. Never waste food. It's all right. You grow to love it. You grow to love it. 